So welcome back to another tutorial on Creative Video. And in this tutorial, I'll be creating a rule on this um, waistband here. But before we continue, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more video tutorial on Creative 3D. So let's start by um, creating a rectangle internal line. I will be creating a small one here. Uh, let me see how small it is. So the one at the outer part, not the one at the inner part, that is where the rectangle will start from. We create in both sides, or we'll first create one here, which is very important. So, um, very small one here. Let me see. Yes, this is it here. It needs to pop, pop out. I think this is, I don't know if it's too big, but then you can always adjust it. Um, drag it a bit to the side. Uh, this is the center. Yes. Yeah, this is not too bad. So we also have to put at the other side here. So, so let's do this. I'm um, going to scroll. Uh, clicking on Control C to Control. Let's see. Control V here. We want to add at the other side. So this is it. Control C and Control V to add it. So the next thing we'll do is to cut and sew. So not cut and sew, just cut because we have to delete. We have to create a space inside. So we're going to just cut this one away. Delete. And we'll cut at the other side too. Uh, we're going to just cut and delete the remnant. So next we're going to create just a small line here, not a box, just a line here attach the rope to so um but we are going to move to this side now so let me see the measurement of this i want to create a smaller line so i want to make sure the line is smaller than this this is 11.8 here so i can just start with like 10 or let's say 9 let me use 9 here mm. so we'll click on g g is to create an internal line this is This is nine. Well, I can't see this line. Okay, the line is showing here. This is the line here. I have to use Z to adjust it a bit. If I am right, this line should. Yeah, it is showing. This is it here. It is too small. We we'll adjust it. So this is the line here. But let me adjust it a bit. Uh, uh, I don't want it to be too big. So this is it here. The line is 10.7. So I want to put another line here too. So control C, control V. So we click on control V at this other side here. This is control V. So let's put it. Yeah, let me see. Is this showing? Yeah, it is showing, but it's too close. This is the line here. It's kind of tricky. Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, big boy is coming out. So um, now that we know that this is the line, so let's the measurement is what ten point seven. So we have to create a square now, a rectangle. S is for rectangle. Um, rectangle around the waist side. Um, ten point seven is the width. Yes, ten point seven. It's five hundred enough for the height. I don't know. Depending on how long you want the rope to be. Let me see. Four hundred. Four hundred. Uh, let me stay with four hundred. Our rope is up. Oops looking too big and too thick i hope it's looking too big um z drag it it's too small okay so control c control v 
that's what you do so you can always click on segment showing here which is n this one to this that segment swing and just click on the internal line so yep yes uh let's bring it closer to the stitches um, space bar so this is our group well you can make it smaller but well, this is just a tutorial so you can make it smaller to fit your this now you can always adjust the distance between so you can decide for yourself depending on what you want to design so this is just it and to make it perfect we use the rib cuff for this the rib uh, fabric texture sorry the rib fabric texture um i think this yeah this one so yes um, yeah yeah exactly so so that is it um let's do this for the waist too mm -hmm. it's not bad So this is it. Mm, and this is the map fabric for the I wanted to change the color of this, but then let's just go to the render. Let me see this. Yeah, let's go to render C to see the result. So this is it here. And this is how to create a rope depending on where you want to place your rope this is how to create a rope so thank you for watching this tutorial on clue 3d don't forget to click on the subscribe button to get more video or tutorial on clue 3d thank you